Good evening everybody. Welcome again from the workshop. I know it's been a while since our last video. However, um, we didn't really have much original content so to say. Yeah, business as usual. Yeah, so today we encounter something new. And strange. And strange. Yes, what you're looking at is an Elite 2500 Haltec that um, was given some power problems sometimes it wouldn't well it would come on but with a very dim blue power light right maybe the first start the first attempt to start it would come on correct and uh, like a minute after it would go into this low dim blue power light uh, scenario um we thought maybe we could fix it so that's why it's opened up here right now and uh let me walk you through how we managed to resolve this issue all right not much information out there on this so that, that's why we're making this video okay so firstly i was wondering if maybe we had bad wiring on the man on the harness that was built for it um so we would check all the power supply voltages the 5 volt and the 8 volt they were all good uh, the EC was getting a proper 12 volts on 3 pins one on, on this one here and two on, on this one the 34 pin and proper ground on both sides right sensor ground and ECU ground so it didn't seem like something that the harness was causing all right, so the issue was opened up. You're looking at it right now. And uh, the first thing I looked at was the power supply of the board. We, we have several voltages that the issue uses. As you can see, there's a five volt here. It's written on the board. Uh, you'll have to zoom to see that. Let's see. See it? Yeah. Oh, okay, good. All right, don't need the magnifying glass. Uh, this corner here, we have eight volts. You should be familiar with this if you wire management. They use 5 and 8 volts for sensors. And besides that, we have two additional voltages. We have 1.2 here and a 1.5. Most likely it's for the, the processor. Right? And when I started checking, I realized when the ECU was dead, when it was emitting the dim blue light, there weren't any voltages, uh, sorry, any 1.2 volt coming off this um, section here right so i started checking the resistors were on the back of the board that that um, determines the voltage of this ic they all seem good i'll take a lot of comparison with this ic and the working one here because basically the same is just the, the resistors that determine the voltages were slightly different right so i even managed to get the information on the chip and uh, it helped me to troubleshoot it to figure out which pin is the out and which is the in and the adjust and the bias and what, whatever um, uh, what I did again was um, also I, I froze this part of the board and every time I froze it the EC would power up and run properly so I realized that yes definitely the problem was was most likely in, in, in the power supply section here, the, most likely the 1.2 volt section. Uh, before I ran out and ordered a, a new chip, I decided to just throw some extra soda on it and I did all eight pins and beyond behold that immediately fixed the problem. All right, so right now the Haltech is functioning properly. Sorry, I didn't have a picture of how it was behaving when it was, was um, misbehaving. Let me power it up right now. Yeah. That's it, a bright, bright light. Right. Take it back down. Right. Bright, white, slightly bluish light. Uh, before that, you'd have to take my word for it, it was a very dim blue light. So now you're looking at a properly functioning Haltech. Um, zoom in on the, on the screen here. Uh, F5. Boom, yeah, there you go, it's connected. Look out how it right. You could see it. Yes. Right. yes, and it's functioning correct. Had it powered up for almost an hour. Sometimes I'll take it off, put it back on, and 
there you go it, it's fixed <clears throat> this is a problem you would most likely have to ship it back to the makers uh, in Australia to resolve but um, checking it myself has saved me a lot of time and money too right um, so um, and we have another reason here why one should come to the workshop of Navin you know his electrical ability and so on is pretty good and he's able to troubleshoot a lot of other items and so on we're gonna take it down oh. yep time to assemble and make some power all right so that's it there for tonight yep until who knows when okay guys so um yeah this is a um this will be our latest video until we do something new i guess encounter some strange problem and resolve it enough to make a new video yeah and we hope um you like what you saw if you like it please like and subscribe to the channel and um i'm sure we will be able to share more knowledge and information in the coming future okay guys good night and goodbye